Hi there, I'm Gordon, fascinated by fungi, and I'm here with the KQED mushroom event, and we're gonna look deep into what's on the table here. So, it's a whole bunch of random, interesting things I brought in here. It's a little bit of Schizophyla, Nectria, Phyllotopsis, all sorts of things that grow on dead wood there. Um, this big old Leucopaxillus is a really like long-lasting mushroom. It doesn't smell like much. It's kind of funky, fruit loopy, but it's a super solid mushroom. Unfortunately, you can't eat it. Uh, of course, we have the ever popular and epic Amita muscaria. It is both edible, toxic, and trippy all at the same time, uh, depending on how you process it. So were you to eat it straight up raw, you would get quite sick, experience severe GI upset, throwing up, diarrhea, etc. Uh, but you can double boil this, make it edible, or you can dry it out, turn it into a tea, and experience some of the entheogenic effects. Check out these real quick, because I think they're gonna do something interesting. Or tidia, and if I blow on them, there go the spores. 